what were you here today at Trinity Church for? I just wanted to celebrate the royal wedding uh, because I'm away from London and I'm in New York and um, I thought what better, better place to spend it than actually at the oldest church um, in, um, in New York. Two billion people globally are watching this today. What, what, why do you think that is? I think it's uh, something unique. I think that hasn't happened in a while. I think the last wedding was in the early 80s. So, uh, you know, certainly around for that. I, to, I, lived, I was in England at that time. The Kennedys could have been a, a uh, American royal family. Some people think the Clintons are. Uh, were you into the uh, the Chelsea Clinton marriage? Do you think that's the, the, the analog to this or is there a distinction? Well, they didn't put it on TV. But if they had, I definitely would have watched it. Being English and being here in America, uh, how did that make you feel? New Yorkers are so welcoming that it's actually been very exciting and I've met many, many people here. So uh, it's actually been, in some ways, I think maybe even better to spend it in New York than in London. <laughs> I think it bridges you know, the divide that some people see between the royal family and, uh, and uh, the, the commoners, if you like. So I think it's a very good thing. I would never call anyone a commoner because I think that's a little degrading and I, I think that what she is is she's a beautiful woman who married a prince and I think that that gives everyone hope. Do you think this is going to rejuvenate the royal family? Absolutely, without a doubt. It's what it needed, really it did. Because you know, now William's old enough to get married and now we've got a new Princess Diana. I don't want to say a new Princess Diana, but you know what I mean, which is what the royal family needed. It's what we all, it's what we all needed. There are other royal weddings and you don't get the same kind of response from the public, I don't know. I think it's something about the legacy of Diana. There's a lot to do with the fairy tale wedding and how it's almost a mirror image of the 1981 uh, wedding. It did bring back memories of watching that wedding as well back in the 80s. It was very, obviously very similar, a lot of tradition there. And um, obviously, you know, uh, William being Diana's son, it's, uh, I think, quite a, quite a poignant moment in time. You know, it's really nice to have something to be excited about, something that's fun, that we can all celebrate. We've all had too much news, gloomy news, for too long. So this is just fantastic and I think that people really would like to see William happy and that this is really going to be the fairy tale.